All right, Rising Front. I have not touched this game at all, but you sent me a thingamajig. So I don't know what this is. I mean, the way that you described it, it sounded a lot like a RTS type of game or something. Game select, scenario creator, scenario, sandbox. Moist Critical played it the other day. Oh, really? Are they kids? Every soldier's a kid, son. Not old enough to drink, but god damn it, old enough to sacrifice themselves for this farmhouse. Well, now we're getting into some deep I don't know if I'm ready for that. Want to VC. Sure. Just private message me, I guess. Hello? Hey. How you doing? Hey, good yourself? I'm doing okay. So what should I do here? Um, okay, so I'll run you through it. Basically, Rising Front is a... It insults, like, tabs. No, 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 like, tabs. No, no, like, the sandbox games. But, like, it brings in, like, the actual FPS aspect a lot more than those other games. So, yeah. I'm not entirely sure if that fully described it, but according to their Steam page, Rising Front is a first-person FPS World War One battle simulator with a focus on ragdoll physics, intelligent AI, massive battles, procedural AI, cover system, real-time building system, and FPS combat. Back to the video. Let's just go start sandbox, stack the map. Okay. Pick whichever one you want to choose from. Uh... Any, mini, mini, um, uh, um, play trench map. It's it's trench map? one of my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the, that's that's farmhouse. Oh no. Oh. Hey, uh, no, no, that's that's delayed. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a little delayed. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey just uh, welcome back. Uh, this is a develop. Uh, you're a community manager, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, community manager of this game. He, he gave me a free key. So thought I'd try it out. Yeah. On the book of marketing, but yeah, yeah. It, it either works. Yeah, okay. yeah. It doesn't. I, I, it doesn't hurt my ego oh, too oh, much. Getting my title <laughs> wrong. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's try it out here. Yeah, it hurts. So yeah. So, so, so basically, when you get to this menu start, um, you can just spectate. If you hit tab it brings you to the command menu oh. so the top left you can see that, that that's basically the power so you got central powers and then allied powers and like the number next to it is the money that you have left sure. um down down below like in oh. the tab you can see all the units that you can deploy oh boy uh, how, do you, how do you move around Oh, right click okay um, yeah yeah right, right click yeah hold right click and look okay move move scroll wheel back and forth okay it's wasd as well but oh Oh, oh, it's a, is, is it like an RTS kind of game? In sorts, but not really in a way. By now, your troops should be deploying. So just click um, deploy, and then you can just deploy. Deploy. You'll be able to just follow your men around. Okay, so the thing is with this game, it's fully controlled by AI. However, you can, as a person, click tab, click on like the actual units, and like you can tell them where to go by clicking on like the German rifle, and then yeah, and just click execute orders, and they'll move there. Okay, so it's kind of like a sim type game i think or... yeah 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 i feel like i've seen something like this before but it's been a hot minute while wow, these guys just went straight into the bar bar yeah, yeah. okay so these guys are oh. just oh is, on a... is he on the machine gun well when they get in range yeah they'll shoot them <laughs> so, so click tab uh -huh. and, and then you'll be able to see where the um other enemy team is okay now they're going for the charge <laughs> so you can see all of the units are pushing in now uh -huh. If you want, you can go to deployable. See deployables next to the infantry tab. Then click on green artillery or red artillery and drop it wherever you want. On like you can drop it on any team. Doesn't really matter. In this game mode is just sandbox. But okay. yeah, you can just drop artillery and artillery them. And then if you hop out of that menu, you can see all the artillery falling down. So yeah, like the artillery lasts for about a minute or so and it stops and goes away. You can also customize your kit. So if you click option, like escape, and you can get a loadout. You can configure like what the guns you want to carry, um, how much ammo, grenades, bandages, and stuff you want to carry as well. Hmm. Can, so I, go, yeah, got can I go into like a first person mode at all or no? Yeah. Okay, so you're in the German team. So escape and then deploy. Oh. No, not, not in that menu, escape. Oh, I see. Yep. How's the mechanics in this game? Uh, uh, it's like any other FPS, really, yeah. It's a little bit clunkier in, in a sorts because it is made by one person. It's not as bad as I was thinking. I mean, it's okay. It's not terrible, but... Yeah. Yeah, like, like it's developed by one guy, <laughs> and he's in university. <laughs> See what happens when I shoot someone here? Um, You can you can clear your own teammates. <laughs> I want to see if I can kill the bad guys, though. Or the other guys. Yeah. 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 
the, 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 that's that's the ideal um, thing to do. Um, uh... Also, also if you click caps lock, um, you can put down deployables like machine guns, MG nests, flare launchers, wood spikes, barbed wire, because landmines. Money, though, yep. Yep. So how do you get money? By killing or...? You get money every X seconds. Also, yeah, basically just every X seconds. It slowly builds up, that's all. There's like no sound in this game. Let's see. Turn up the sound just a little bit. My yeah. options, your audio. Audio. That, that's when I hurt your ears. That's it. <laughs> What's up? My I have crowd. I got hit? Yeah, see, bottom left hand side, you can see your health. And like, it makes a sound effect. Oh, wait, did that, that tell you the wrong button? Oh, yep, click five. No, no, click three. No, click three. I'll tell you to throw the name. My bad. That's three. Oh, oh, wait, the bench is equipped. Oh, there we go. I've got different um, key binds to you. Got... But the, the best thing about the game is, is, is the headshot um, sound effect. It's like a satisfying ding. Also, if you want to slow time down, you can click T and it goes in slow motion. So Which I personally you... like. Like doing the cinematic effect. Go ahead, we're gonna pass. Is this like always the deploy point or can we like push up at some point? Um yeah you can um order your units. So click tab and then you can like click on the unit and then you can get picked with the arrow and then you can drag it anywhere you want on the map. And you can click making your men go anywhere. You can click the top red button called execute orders and they help move wherever you want them to go. So wait, I, I click on them and the drag or how does this work? Click it once oh, I see. and then move your mouse over. Get more men to support. So go to infantry and find one with a red dot on it. So those are your guys so, and spawn as many units as you want until your game crashes. Is there a way you could go faster though? No, honestly, if I was you, click spectate and go to one of your soldiers and that's alive. Click F and it will deploy right next to them. F? Yep, yep, find one of your soldiers and deploy right next to them. Well, first, you find something to survive. Him, right there. I think it's yep. Perfect. And, and you're. Because I'm way too lazy to always go back to the spawn point as to, as to deploy wherever <laughs> my other men are. Also, um, you should deploy some machine gun position. So click cap stock and block them on the dead. But yeah, you click cap stock and spectate as well and deploy um, machine gun positions. But you got you got enough money to like this one around a thousand machine. Oh. Wait, what do I how do I deploy? Cap? Okay. Uh, uh, um so click cap stock. How do I yep. turn it? And, and and then click one. Yep. And then and then basically just look, place the shield in there and follow how. Perfect. And then and then you are easily click the right button to deploy. Two places to do it. That's good. But yeah, your, your men and yourself can use the machine guns. You know, all that thing is hop on and shit and stuff. Oh, it seems like shooting him in the chest isn't doing anything. Um, 
yes, sometimes. So it's like, yeah, to the front and then start mowing them down. I mean, I'm hitting them, but like... Oh, yeah. Me. Yeah, sometimes it takes a while for the machine guns. But they definitely need to be dropped. But at the same time, machine guns are devastating on the map. Oh wow, okay. That's a bug. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna report that bug. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna see that. I don't know, I feel like some of the bullets don't affect the body. They affect the head, but not the body. Yeah, it takes two hits to kill someone. Body shot. Yeah, two hits. Let's try another one of these. Just, 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 just go in slow mode and just see. That's, that's a good position right there. Yeah. Well, hey buddy, I'm already yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, you, you can override it. And they're already gone. Huh. So like, is this gonna cost anything or? What do you mean? Is there a price on this or is it kind of like free to play or what's going on? Um, currently it's 15 dollars. Like, yeah, 15 dollars. So now there are three um, versions, which are just like up to the latest um, version. So like, um, there are a few demo versions which anyone can download for free, but they aren't the latest update and stuff like that. We, and we will, we will no longer be updating those versions of the game. Mm -hmm. If you're about to buy the game, then check out the demo, get a rough idea on what the game is like. But yeah, the game only launched, what, how many days ago? Maybe five, oh, six days ago? Like in early access or just straight up launch? Oh, early access. It's early access. Oh, okay. It's going yeah. to be in early access for a long, long time. It's a good start. I don't know if it's like a game that I would play, but I mean, it was definitely fun to screw around in, I guess. Once you like learn the controls a lot more, hey. like you'll you'll get it becomes very fun because usually I send around a thousand men to the death in a matter of minutes. Yeah, and I have like massive wars. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yep, animation is better. Looks like they got bayonets. Do they have uh, melee in this game yet? Um, you, you can't directly like bayonet from your rifle yet. With that being our next update. However, like you can equip a, a knife. <laughs> That's all really. Oh, okay. hit it. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure why Jack didn't add um, a bayonet um, feature in at the start. Makes no sense to me because that's like a massive part of World War One history. Pretty interesting game for fifteen dollars. Play around with it. Probably not a game that I play a lot, but I mean, I'm sure there's an audience out yeah. here for this type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not a game for a lot of FPS YouTubers. It's mainly people who are into like World War One in general, or like into simulators and stuff like that. Yeah, like it, it definitely appeal appeals to them a lot more. It's interesting because there is a base that wants this type of stuff. Because I've seen a lot of these pop up every now and then. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. But I think this is the first that I've seen with the World War One type of sim. I've seen like modern day stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think I might have even seen World War Two. I think it's using yeah. that same engine though, right? I feel like I've seen Uni this engine before. Th this is Unity. Unity? Yeah. Hmm. So does this like ever end eventually? Like, Cause it looks like they already uh, took the flag over there. In sandbox, no. It keeps going forever. Oh. In scenarios and stuff, okay. it, it does end. Scenarios. But yeah, um, I do have to dip man at a meeting. Okay.
Yeah. I think I'll make a video about it, but it's probably not a game that I would continue to play. I mean, for a cheap price, it's not terrible. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can give you a few keys to give away if you want in the video. Uh, uh, what the hell? A lot of people would like something like this.